Hello everyone and welcome back to another Moto Vlog. I'm uh, leading the group this time and we're going to a place called Grills, one of our favorite places to eat uh, in Orlando. And we're off of a place called 441 right now and we're going to wait for traffic to go by here before we continue down the road. Stopped at the gas station. Hope everyone is uh, having a fantastic weekend so far. I'm going to wait for the second car here because I don't know if he's turning in. They don't like to use blinkers. You know that. And we'll go this time. Um, hope you're having a fantastic weekend so far. Man, it feels good to be back on a bike. I haven't been on a bike since I got back from our honeymoon. I miss it tremendously. So Nicole's with me and Bugs is with me. The next uh, moto vlog I plan on doing is going to be uh, the ride out to Kennedy Space Center. I think that'll be a lot of fun. That'll be a cool one to do, for sure. I think we're going to be getting in the left lane up here soon. Because uh, it's just really busy on this uh, section of the road. And our destination's on the left anyway. But you'll see, we're going to get into some, uh, some decent traffic. So it's just better to do that, to get in the left-hand side and we're good to go. Beautiful, beautiful day. It's overcast. It's about 83 degrees, but man, it feels nice out today. It does indeed. Florida trailers is a utility. Those are uh, like, they make 53 footers and all that stuff. Uh, one thing I did want to address is um, I wanted to address what uh, I plan on doing with Grand Theft Auto on my channel. I, I know I've been doing a lot of Red Dead Redemption and A Way Out, and we kind of just dealt with those games. Honestly, when Red Dead Redemption came out, I've just kind of thrown myself into that game so much that I haven't been doing uh, anything else. We'll wave with this Harley guy right here. They didn't even care about us. <laughs> um, with Red Dead Redemption, I've just been enjoying it so much. And um, that's the reason why Grand Theft Auto V hasn't been on the channel. Now, I have recently gotten back into doing OCRP stuff a lot more frequently. Or I'm just, uh, I mi I've missed it so much after my uh, honeymoon and vacation and just being away from it for so long. I have really have uh, missed it. So I plan on bringing that to the channel. I know I've said that before in the past, like, oh, I'm bringing GTA 5 back on the channel, don't worry. Um, but I really am going to be bringing OCRP. OCRP is going to be a big thing for us in uh, 2019. I think 2018 was kind of just, you know, uh, paving the way of what it can be. Um, and we're going to be opening applications on December 1st. Now, I don't know 100% fact, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be referral only. So if you know somebody in OCRP and they can put in a good word for you, um, that way we're not coming through a bunch of people um, that are probably not a good fit for for OCRP. We, we, we've gone through our application processes before, and, and man, they can be painstaking, that's for sure. And a big thanks to uh, the admin staff at OCRP for helping out with that, and, uh, you know, Nicole spearheaded that whole thing. And we've got... OCRP where it's at today because of it. Now, just because I'm not making content and putting it on YouTube doesn't mean that, you know, the community is not doing anything. They're always up to something. You can always watch them on Twitch or something. There's, and even on uh, on YouTube, there's always people doing something. So, uh, that's, that's where that's been. But I do plan on bringing it back. I really do. Another one there. And I'll be doing uh, some Civ uh, group RP with bugs. He wants to get back into it as well. Man, just just taking that well-needed hiatus from GTA 5 has been really nice. And my LSPD4 was acting up so bad and causing a lot of desyncing issues. We're in a 55 now. That uh, I didn't continue that series because of it. I need to go in and find out what the culprit is. It's just, it's there's some sort of um, some sort of script or mod that's in there that's causing these massive frame drops. Well, it's like it's not even a frame drop. It's just 
it's a, literally a freeze. It freezes up the whole game and then it desyncs everything. And sometimes we can fix that in editing and sometimes I can't. And uh, the one that happened last time just couldn't be fixed, sadly. And I didn't even realize, I completely forgot it because I was getting ready to leave to go on uh, on our honeymoon. I, I completely forgot to to check that part of the video and resync it. I think it was even left in the video, so that's what happened with that. Well, this little girl's about ready for a uh, oil change. How many miles I got on her? 1,044 now. Crazy, isn't it? That's pretty, pretty intense stuff. So this uh, road up here is 414, 438 p.m. 414, this is a uh, toll road that runs right in the middle of, uh, or right just to the north of Orlando. What it does is it prevents you, if you're going anywhere out west, um, you can bypass all of Highway 4 and all that. And it's really nice, I, I love that. Make sure we get through this light okay. We actually drive down here sometimes, uh, up here on the right. There's a huge recycling center area there. That's that's one of my gripes of uh, Florida, man. They don't they don't have a good recycling program. In Missouri, we had a we had a really good recycling program going on there. We had them, you know, they picked up recycling twice a week and or even once a week. Here it's every other week. So with you know the Amazon nation that uh, the United States has become and we have all been accustomed to, we're all guilty of it. We have a ton of those cardboard boxes and with those cardboard boxes come recycling so usually just wait about a couple months and then I uh, throw them all up in the uh, or in the back of the truck and then we drive them down there and recycle them and they actually pay you for the boxes you only make like a dollar or something but still it's better than throwing them away in the trash you know this little spot here can be tricky this is the part I'm talking about where we're gonna start hitting some uh, traffic but I've got to say, it's Saturday afternoon, and uh, it is not bad out here at all. Like, at all. There's the Lynx buses. That's another game I'm looking forward to is uh, Tourist Bus Simulator. I'm hoping that one has a little more longevity to it, because Bus Sim 18, uh, you know, it was pretty short-lived. Like, once you kind of unlock the map, you're just like, okay, well, I guess that's about it. I don't want to create any more routes. So that's what happened with that. Down here on the right, we'll get there eventually, but uh, there's a, a good RC shop called Graves RC. I've gone in there a few times. Now with the winter coming up here in Florida, it's gonna be beautiful like every day. And uh, we are, or I plan on doing some RC vlogs again with the UDR and stuff. Now, with the, the GoPro, I finally got a, a nice mount for it. I can actually put that GoPro inside the UDR, and I think that's gonna be awesome. So I wanna do that accompanied with some uh, shots of, you know, with the uh, outside of it, you know, tearing up the, up the ground because those UDRs, they tear them up. Now, we made a huge mistake. Me and Bugs did both with our UDRs, and, uh, if you don't know what that means, it's an Ultimate Desert Racer by Traxxas. And uh, that mistake was we uh, we forgot the batteries in them. We didn't take them out. And those are not cheap batteries. That was the dumbest thing we've ever done. 5,000 milliamp. Ugh. But uh, we left them out, or we left them in there, and they died. So we had to get new batteries. And, and that's like $140 in batteries. So we waited a while before we did that again. I was like, I don't want to make that stupid mistake again. That's that's too much money to be wasting on RC batteries. Another thing I want to do in 2019 is get back into my RC flying uh, as far as my airplane goes. I think that would be some cool stuff for you guys to, to see. There's a, there's a field. There's a huge air, It's like a huge uh, RC airport, actually, um, off of 414, where we just went under there. If I would have made a right and gone down that road, that toll road, there's actually a nice RC field out there. So I think that'd be pretty neat. I need to get a uh, bed uh, bed cover. This is the weirdest thing ever. This brownies, they're a uh, like a plumbing solution. But I mean, 
brownies when you really think about it uh, it's like okay it's pretty gross <laughs> Take control. There is the hobby shop right there. Graves RC Hobbies. Man, they got a lot of cool stuff packed in there. They really do. Paula, I see you. Now, this is the John Young Parkway. This is another big, major artery that goes through Orlando. And if you want to get around the, uh, I hate this intersection though. If you want to get around all the traffic and hustle and bustle, there's plenty of options. And I really like that because we just stay off Highway 4 all together. There's a little scooter. It's a little scooter there. Golden Corral. Man, I haven't had Golden Corral since before I had a choice. <laughs> before I had a choice of what I could eat. Now, this is a place called Grills. I love this place. It's a, they, they're, they're, they're biker friendly. They got an outside uh, tiki bar, which I would not be participating in because I have a zero alcohol policy when it comes to riding motorcycles. Um, they don't seem too too busy, so that's a good that's a good thing. The um, the lake view is awesome, and uh, here's where I've actually watched a float plane land and pull in, which was pretty awesome as well. And you wouldn't think that lake would have that, but it does has enough room to land airplanes in it, little float planes. But they got a dock there. Now, they're all about uh, grilling everything. That's why it's called Grills. And they actually have one in Port Canaveral. That's where the original is. You can go right here. Yeah, after this guy right here. Yeah, he's turning. Ah, he took forever to do it. We'll wait till after this silver car. Now, I could have made that easily earlier, but I've got a group with me, and whenever I have uh, a group, I like to, I'm going to actually lift off the ground here, I like to, uh, you know, think of them as well. I don't want to just, I don't want to be the one that um, leaves everybody behind. I don't like doing that. I don't like whenever I'm in a group and people just kind of leave you at a light or something. So I always try to think of everybody as I'm doing that go left here there's usually bike parking over there but it looks like there's cars in in those spots today I don't know I really don't know there's a bike there yep oh well I'll just park right here this will work for me awesome well this is part one of our ride well not part one but this is all going to be an inclusive uh, vlog you guys looking right at me um, so I'll see you guys in a little bit after we eat. All right, that was a uh, fantastic lunch there. I'm putting the wrong glove on. There we go. And uh, Nicole's ready to go. Bugs is ready to go. Ready? <laughs> Fire mine up. You're a right, girl. And that's good there. Good, good, good. Man, beautiful evening. I forget the name of this area here in uh, in Orlando. Back her on out. You remember how I said there was uh, bike parking? Yeah, it's up there. There's just a kayak across all of it. So that's what's going on with that. I'm going to put my visor down. We're ready to go. Oh, man. I had the uh, fish tacos. Mahi Mahi. I am starting to really love some Mahi Mahi. But I get the uh, I get the fish tacos without the California sauce, which is like this white, I don't know, like mayo, nasty stuff. And I get the uh, I put the Tabasco on it, like the Tabasco Chipotle. I put that on it instead, and that is delicious. 
delicious. We were at the uh, at the patio, and um, they had a couple there, and he proposed to her right there. So the stop sign here. We're just gonna make a right back onto this road. Actually, after this truck, we're good to go. And it's a 55 through here, so you get up to speed really fast. It doesn't take much. Again, we're going to ride on the left side because the um, the cars pulling out in the road up here. There's so many of them. Just don't want to mess around with it, you know. Watching that car there, all good. But I love that place, girls. Man, it's just so good. If you get the right thing, we've had some things there that aren't the greatest. One time I decided I wanted to try to get some pasta there, and that was a bad idea. Like, you don't go to a house that grills everything and get pasta, you know? So you gotta watch out for that as well. Here's a little brownies. www.callbrownies.com. There's your plug, brownies. A little order of moose. The moose lodge. Oh, watch these two up here. I don't know. Another bike up there that's made a left turn. Sports bike of some sort. Another fun fact is uh, when we come back up here on Highway 414, if you make a right and you go down that way towards Maitland, like you're heading towards Maitland, that's the uh, EA's, EA Games, EA's whatever. It's EA's uh, headquarters there. I don't know if it's the main one, but I, I, it's one of theirs. And I, I believe it's one of the big ones. We timed that one just right. Used the friction zone. Man, it is beautiful out today. I just love it. I have to say, though, the more I ride this Sportster, man, I just love this thing. It is such a great bike such a great looking one it rides so comfortably the only thing I have to do still to it is uh, just put a seat on it for the most part that and I need to get a uh, I need to look into the uh, air system on it make that uh, a little better so it breathes better although I really enjoy the diesel pops I know some people don't like them what the hell is that kind of car is it like a Bentley it is a it's like a Bentley or a Rolls Royce. I think that was a Bentley limo. Uh, it's 45 through here. Good to know. But it, there's a uh, police officer. Nope. Old retired something. Looks like it might be a security officer actually. Believe it or not, the Crown Vic is still pretty heavily used down here. I'm surprised by that. I'm watching this Camry. I'm very surprised. Nine out of ten times, they usually uh, they don't do that. They'll just pull straight on out. That's a bunch of those uh, fountains and statues. That's some interesting things. You all right, boy? <laughs> Oh my god. Starliners Auto Group. It's 55 through here. This is where you get, get back up to speed. It's wonderful. So yeah, over time that um, I have 
been riding, I'm getting a lot more comfortable with it. Feel a lot more confident. Because when you first start out, you know, you're worried about killing it at lights and things like that. That just goes away. Uh, are they getting back out into traffic? Or, yeah, it looks like that's what they want to do. I'm watching back there. But yeah, right here is 414. You can go east to Maitland or go west to Apopka. We're going to go all the way up to a road called Samoran. And then go back home that way. But yeah, Maitland, that's the way towards the EA uh, headquarters over there. One of theirs. I have to look that up and see if it's their main one or not. I, I know Orlando's huge for EA. So I figured we'll uh, we'll just ride back to where we started the vlog and we'll end things there. But yeah, I just uh, had a discussion with them about uh, organizing that next ride that's going to be out to Kennedy Space Center because we have to go get the um, we have to get our uh, oil changed. So that's in Sanford. It's on the way. We'll stop and get the oil changed, and then we're going to ride all the way out to Titusville from there. There's a great road there that takes you out that way. I have not ridden it yet. I don't know what it's like, but it looks like fun. One thing that uh, that happens a lot down here in Florida is you get guys and gals, and they love to stop at greens, or they'll they'll hit the brakes at green lights. Instead of just like, you know, rolling with each other and trying to like figure it out. Instead of doing that, they'll just uh, they'll ride up on the bumper and slam the brakes. And they'll come to a complete stop at a green light. It's insane. Yingling traditional lager. I've given Yingling a fair shot, I believe. I just don't like it. I've tried it on uh, multiple occasions. It is just not for me, man. Like, if it's really ice cold, I can have one of them. But after that, no dice. Injury and accident law. Another uh, thing is I saw some of you want to see a night moto vlog. I don't know how the GoPro would uh, pick that up, but I think we could definitely pull something. We could swing something like that. I could ride out to that uh, spot we've done before and just ride that at night. It would, it would look different. It would be something new, you know. But I'm trying to find new roads for us to uh, to vlog on. And that's the reason why I decided to uh, fire up the old camera today. Because we have not been on this route together. Friction zone. Another bike there. They never wave at you. They're like, you're riding a Harley. Fuck you, dude. Car wash in Wawa. Everybody's all about the Wawa down here. They love their sandwiches and all that. I've never gone there for their sandwiches. I've been there before. I've never had their sandwiches. I hear great things, though. But that's good to know. 55. Guns, guns, guns. Log cabin guns what that says. <laughs> it's actually a really good, uh, good lane to be in through this area. Shoot straight. You got a shooting range there. Basically, it reminds me of ammunition every time I see that, that building. I welcome to ammunition. But I'm just so blown away, taken aback really, that we have not had any traffic today on a Saturday afternoon slash evening. That's just mind blowing. That blows me away. A Landstar truck. A bunch of uh, Proline, or that's a, yep, that's a Cascadia. Oh, the one before it was a Prostar. Cars for sale, cars for sale. 
There's actually a uh, there's a Mexican restaurant around here that we went to when we first moved down here. I didn't I didn't care for it too much. It was one of those you know generic ones. <laughs> zero gravity. Zero point zero. Roger Williams Avenue. Boy, this is gorgeous. There it is right there, El Potro. It's like one of them just, you know, standard Mexican restaurants. Uh, racetrack right there's where we started the whole thing so i think we're just gonna end things here at this light but guys thank you so much for watching and uh supporting the moto vlogs if you have any ideas for a moto vlog be sure to let me know and i will try to uh try to do something with it you know i'm enjoying them i love riding my bike uh, i think the next one will probably be the um the ride out but if it's not the ride out to uh the space center it'll be a night ride Anywho, that'll do it. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.